Today we're going to learn how to make a really simple little animated GIF using the Puppet Warp tool. So let's get going. We're going to start off with a simple illustration and a background layer. Now you'll notice that it, these are in two different layers and that's really important for what we'll be doing uh, with animating these. You'll also notice that we have a timeline window open down here at the bottom. To access this window you need to go to Window and select Timeline. Now you may have to uh, click on a drop down menu once the timeline pops up and select Create Frame Animation and then click on that one more time and that should get this nice little frame animation window to pop up. And you'll notice that we have our first frame already here for us and we have a time setting. Um, it's currently set to 0.1 seconds which is okay. You can also set it to no delay and no delay will um, allow you to just to play fluently through it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 0.1 you don't want to do too long though. You don't want to probably do anything more than 0.2 seconds unless you want to really stay static for the time being. So we've got our first frame and we don't want to do anything to that frame. So you'll notice that in that frame we have everything that we can see that's visible in our layers. Um, so since we don't want to change anything in that frame we're actually going to have to um, we're actually going to have to duplicate the layer that our illustration is in. And we can do that by right clicking in the layer or control clicking and then select duplicate layer. And I'll just call this workout bunny 2. And in this layer now we can go ahead and make changes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility for the first bunny that I have. And with this second bunny I'm going to go to edit and select puppet warp. Now, Puppet Warp allows me to do a couple different things. You can see that I have a mesh over my entire illustration. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to put push pins into that mesh. And I just do that by clicking. And then with that, I can also use those push pins to slightly move my character around. So I'm going to move him a little bit. He's got this toe down, so I think I'm going to put like a little hinge point in here. And you kind of want to think about where you want there to be little kind of natural hinge and joint points. And then you can kind of put your push pin there and move your different objects. Move his toe down here. Now you can see this can get a little distorted. So you have to kind of be careful about overusing this, but for little changes it's not too bad. If you notice there's a distortion you can always walk it back by going to your history or just doing a command option Z. Okay. Once you find uh, that you have made changes that you like and you're happy with what you see, um, you can go ahead and hit return. So there we can see the little change that happened. It'll show you that shift that you made. Now we want to actually animate this. So we can't just animate it with layers, we have to actually use our frames. So here we have our first frame. In our first frame we're going to go ahead and take the visibility off of the workout bunny that we just changed and turn the visibility on to our original workout bunny. Then we're going to duplicate this frame by clicking on this little square with the tab. In this new frame with the selected we're going to turn off the visibility of our first workout bunny and turn on the visibility for our second. Okay, so now if I go ahead and play that, he's got a little bit of a groove going on there. So, also you'll notice that I have this looped. You can set that up by uh, setting your play mode to forever. You can do once, three times, or even other if you wanted a certain amount of times, or forever will loop it. Now, if you want to continue this process, you can just duplicate that layer and you can continue moving and moving and moving with the Puppet Warp tool as you see fit. You can also add things like drawings, you can um, scale them up, scale them down, you can use other tools to modify him as well. When you're ready to save this, you're going to go to File, Save for Web. So that's really important, so make sure you check Save for Web. And we can just see our bunny off to the side here, but as long as we are in GIF, and then go down here to animation options and we want our looping options to be set to forever. 
If we do that, and then that should be fine, and you can hit save, and then it'll give you, give you the option of naming it. So you don't have to name it until after you've done these settings. Um, you can also preview it if you want to make sure that it's going to look okay. Um, so that's it. Go ahead and experiment. Have some fun using the Puppet Warp tool with animation, and enjoy.